We have such a better life right now. Here at The Morning Show, we like to try to keep our viewers healthy. But eating the right foods is no easy task. As you know, healthy foods and our favorite foods are rarely the same thing. Nope. The trouble with food is the things we like eating the most are often not the best choices. The unhealthy foods that I just love to eat are your french fries, they're just dripped in oil, hamburgers, pizza, uh, probably fried chicken, stuff like that. I'm from New Orleans. I eat a lot of soul food, but man, it's really fattening for you. The unhealthy foods I would eat then would be, you know, the sweets, the sugar, the sugar intake you're supposed to cut down on. Most of us would rather chomp a cheeseburger than take a taste of tofu or some other health food alternative. Besides, do we really know what's good for us? Carrots is good for you, but I don't eat them. They're supposed to be good for your eyes. That's probably why I wear glasses. Crap all day keeps the doctor away, my grandma used to say. I should probably be eating breads, um, grains, whole grains. They're supposed to be really good for you. Now, what if we told you there are some little-known power foods, and by adding these mighty morsels to your menu, they can make a huge difference in your diet. Interested? Then put down your fork and pick up a pencil, because we have the top ten superfoods you should be eating. Here to tell <laughs> us what they are, author of The F Factor, registered dietitian Tanya Zuckerbrot. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Hi. Tanya. All right, so let's start with this strange-looking thing here. It looks like seeds. What's it called? Like yeah, well, most people actually think it's a grain, but it is a seed, Julia. And it is such a great source of protein that it was actually called the gold of the Incas. They, they the... valued it for their protein. One cup of quinoa has more protein, 22 quinoa. grams, than a chicken breast. What's Taste the name of it again? Quinoa. Quinoa. It, yes. Very strange. And what's so interesting about it is that you get a big bang for your buck with this because it swells to four times the size when you cook it. Oh, that's good. Great ways of using this is like in a salad, you could add some chopped vegetables, some chickpeas, make a nice salad of it, and serve it instead of rice. It tastes like rice that you would take out of the ground. Um, like yeah, yeah, like no, no, no. It's, 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 it's like a little like dirty rice. But, you understand what I'm saying? Like dirty rice. Dirty rice. Every, the audience is the looking at me like, is, what is she no on right fat, now? There's no fat and much less carbs Ooh. than rice. So if you're trying to watch Ooh. your waistline, great source of protein. This is not bad, you guys. It's not? No, not at all. That's a super food. Super. Ginger I love when I'm eating sushi. How else can we use Yep, yeah, this is the pickled version you get with sushi. Yeah. The great thing about uh, ginger is for you pregnant ladies out there, it helps with Look morning sickness. No, it wasn't. It helps with right morning now. sickness, oh, it and it also helps ease digestion. So great things after dinner, you can eat some ginger candy, you want to digest that dinner properly, or you could also make some ginger tea. You can boil the ginger in some water, strain it, and then drink that as well. This is candy. Candy ginger? Candy ginger. Now yeah, I good for digestion. Pickle, too, just right. Oh, yep. You got it wrong. Oh, it's not bad. Okay. Guava. Guava. An amazing fruit that's tropical, and it actually has more vitamin C than an orange and more potassium than a banana. It's also a really great source of fiber. One cup has nine grams of fiber. Are you kidding me? That's great. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fiber, and fiber is important because it helps with digestion and reduces the risk factors for cardiovascular disease and diabetes. When you get to a certain age. But with, with guava, you might fiber. think to peel it. So important, no, you guys don't peel the guava. You want what? to eat the skin. You yep. can eat the, the outside. The skin itself has more vitamin C than the entire flesh of an orange. Really? So you eat the whole thing whole. And actually, the closer you get to the center, the sweeter it gets. Why do we walk by the guava in the grocery store? I just think yeah. people aren't familiar with it and don't Guava's know how to eat it. Yet. It's but not? You can, will you be can blend it into a shake or just cut up and add it to a fruit salad. Okay. Nuts. Nuts. Oh, no, the next thing is <laughs> pistachios. <laughs> Pistachios are among some of the healthiest nuts, and it's because it's high in monounsaturated fats, which lower cholesterol, yes. and it has more fiber than most nuts, 3.1 grams for a cup. But if you're trying to watch your weight, this is really the skinny nut. The reason is that most nuts you get maybe 16 to 20 nuts sure. per ounce. Pistachios, you get 49. So if you're someone who likes the idea of quantity, nuts are the pistachio nuts are a great nut to choose. Plus, there's such a pain in the butt to get to. And you that don't yeah, slows, so much. That you slows to down consumption. Instead of scarfing down um, nuts that have already been shelled where you can eat nuts really quickly, this slows the consumption it's down forever. so you eat fewer calories. Frank Sinatra, I was told, used to have a bowl of parsley, like a huge one, just parsley, and Italian dressing and uh, salt and pepper on it. And you would just sit there and have handfuls of it. And it was delicious. And I started doing that. And he lived a long Amazing life. Amazing. Uh -huh. And there's something to be said. People think parsley that it's just a condiment. You know, it comes with the chicken you put it on the side. Mm -hmm. But parsley has 300% of the vitamin K that you need. And vitamin K is important for blood clotting. It's also an excellent source of vitamin A and C. And lastly, it cleans the breath. So 
Cleans After your dinner? Breath. What are you saying? Parsley <laughs> salad, you guys. I'm telling you, try the parsley salad tonight. You do that, just a big blob of parsley. It's really good. Okay, we're off to a good start here, but guess what? When we come back, the superest superfood of all time. What some call the most powerful food in the world, Juliet. It's going to come up in a second. Be right back. The beets right here, as a matter of fact. You know why? Registered dietitian Tanya Zucker brought us here. That's why. She's back talking about 10 superfoods you should be eating. Obviously, we're starting with beets. I yeah. like beets. Beets aren't bad. Yeah. Beets are actually one of the superfoods. Although they look a little bit grungy, they're actually super sweet. And the coloring that gives beets these beautiful red and yellow coloring studies show that it actually has have been found to reduce the risk factor for cancer. In addition, beets contain a lot of folate. And folate is important to decrease inflammation in the arteries, which helps to therefore decrease the risk factors for cardiovascular disease. But something so really, really important is you want to try and eat the beets raw. Most people buy their beets canned, but yeah. cooking actually decreases the antioxidant properties. So here we grated some. So take some fresh beets, grate them, pour them into a salad. Skin off, obviously. Yeah, but one mm -hmm. of the important things about beets is that there's really no waste because you don't just eat the beet. You actually can saute the greens in the stem. So there's no waste involved. So you oh, get your money's wow. worth when you I buy never beets. I knew that. Yeah. Almost every restaurant has a beet salad now. Yeah. And it's so good. And healthy, yes. Okay, Swiss chard. I walk by Swiss chard every day in the supermarket. I don't think I've even noticed Swiss chard. I've supermarket. picked it up. I've never bought it. Last yeah, it's, Why it's, should it's, we? It sits somewhere in between like the lettuce and the spinach, and it has sort of a salty, pungent taste. Mm -hmm. The thing about Swiss chard is that if you're a smoker or if you're around secondhand smoke, because uh -huh. of the high vitamin A content, it actually reduces the risk factors for lung cancer. So that's really important. So if you live with a smoker or you're a smoker yourself, you might want to eat some. In addition, it contains a compound called lutein, which helps to protect against macular degeneration. It protects your eyesight. It's like a natural sunscreen. It protects the retina from the sun. So eyesight, lung cancer, if you have any concerns about those, eat your Swiss. These are good, but again, we're not even to the most superest of the super foods. And this, is, this isn't it yet, though. No, this is flaxseed, though. Flaxseed <laughs> on building yogurt? Yes, okay. and flaxseed is important for a few reasons. Number one, it is a natural phytoestrogen, so it helps to reduce the symptoms uh, um, during menopause. Oh. Yes, um, okay. it's like it's natural hormone replacement. So another great thing is that it contains omega-3 fatty acids. In a study where people ate two to three tablespoons of flaxseed, they actually found that they were less depressed, that it increased brain function. So. <laughs> <laughs> Flax seeds are great to add to yogurt, oh, oh, and there's so a good. lot of products on the market that now contain flax. There's flax bread, and there's flax cereal. But really important is that you have to grind your flax seeds. If you eat them whole, your body cannot break them down, and you're not going to get the vitamin and nutrients out of it. So you've got to grind is the them. Whole flax this, is this is the whole flax seed. So you need to buy a coffee grinder, then you grind oh, them, you and then you it. sprinkle them on things. If not, it's just going to leave your body Go without right the benefits. Yeah, okay. Next, cinnamon. Mm. Okay. If there's any history of cardiovascular or diabetes in your family, eat cinnamon. In a study where they gave people pills that contained cinnamon up until a teaspoon, it found, they found that their sugar levels came down by 30% and their cholesterol by 26%. Oh my gosh, that's so, great. So, the great ways of adding cinnamon is like sprinkle it on your oatmeal or if you mm. have a cappuccino. And you don't have to buy anything fancy. You probably have cinnamon already in your cupboard. So just add it to your Tanya, cooking. we've got to get to this. Yes. Da -da -da the number one superfood in the world that you're ignoring and you should have in your life is... Acai. We saved the best for last. Acai. Acai now, berry. Amazon, Amazon, Amazonian berry. It's a berry? Yeah, it's a berry that comes from the Amazon, and the taste is really similar between like a mix of berries and chocolate. You want to taste it? Sure. Yeah. Berries and chocolate. And it has Hello. 10 times the antioxidant properties of red grapes. And everyone thinks, oh, red wine, that's like the highest antioxidants. It's actually acai. You can get it in a paste, but it's more typically going to be found in smoothies and, you know, in like drinks. This it's like a blackberry. This is why we're ignoring it, though. It, it comes as a paste. <laughs> oh, that's not bad, though. That's okay. They make, uh, they make a lot of drinks out of these, and this is just one example, but how, how's that? That's not bad. It's frozen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's like a, a popsicle. So, so acai berry, acai in yeah. whatever form it comes in. Highest in antioxidants out of every single food. Good super info. Super Tanya, that's Good job. All righty. Next